Hello world, this is Craig. This is part six. We're going to look at the CRC, which seems to be the least understood part of this. A lot of people that will do the one wire will wind up just ignoring the CRC because they don't understand it. So the Dallas one wire uses the polynomial x to the eighth, to the fifth, to the fourth, plus one. The CRC accumulator is initialized to zero. It starts with the least significant bits and one bit at a time is shifted in. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, shifting in the eight bits of the CRC itself should return the shift registers to all zero. So in other words, the CRC of all of the received bytes, including the CRC, should equal zero. They have a little example of a shift register for their CRC. They have the incoming bit on the right-hand side. It's exclusively ORed with the least significant bit of the existing register. So that's the X to the zeroth. This is the X to the fourth. This is the X to the fifth. And so this is the incoming bit. And we're doing this from the least significant bit to the most significant bit of the entire data stream. And so for the very first time, the CRC register is initialized at zero. The resulting of that exclusive OR is fed in to the fourth position, it's fed into the fifth position, and it's fed into the eighth position. These are all shifted to the right and it repeats when the next bit comes in. So how do we implement that in the code? So here we can see the shift register concept of the CRC and let's look at our code. Now we could do this CRC after we receive each bit, but we're calling this code after we've received an entire byte. So what we have to do is take this byte and then feed it into the CRC least significant bit in first. So in this code, we're passed two things. One is the old CRC or our running CRC, and we're also passed the new byte. We create a few variables. One is our target bit, which is the bit in our new byte that we're adding to the input. We have our least significant bit, which is this least significant bit of our CRC, the result of the exclusive or of the least significant bit and the input that we're feeding back in to our CRC in the fourth, fifth, and eighth positions. So our first step is to get the least significant bit from the old CRC. So we take this bit right here from the CRC and we take the new incoming bit. So we take the least significant bit of the new byte that came in here and we do an exclusive OR of those and we strip off the least significant bit. We then shift our CRC one to the right. This one goes away and this most significant bit is filled with a zero. Instead of having to do these two exclusive ORs and then fill the most significant bit with the poly bit, we can do a little trick, which is to just look at the poly bit. If the poly bit is logic one, then all we have to do is an exclusive OR of the CRC with hex 8C. And if the poly bit is zero, then we're done. We return our new running CRC. And after we have received the family byte and the six address bytes, we would have a CRC in this case of one nine, and then we would take that one nine and add it to the CRC, and then we would get back a zero, indicating that everything was received properly. Okay, well that's it for the one wire interface. I hope that these videos have been useful. If so, it'd be good to subscribe to the channel and uh, maybe write a uh, nice comment or give me a thumbs up. Okay, thanks a lot, bye-bye.